shears, Girl Scouts, and four shears, of course. Here we are with another Approval Force 101. Today, we're going to be talking about probably the most important thing, and that's our damn pot. You know, our either our sip container or our Approval Force Easy Swap Pot, you know, custom butt chugging machine, whatever it is really really important that is our lightsaber when it comes to using the force make sure my blood don't go out not on the mic too much there but the it is very very important to take care of your soil like really when you guys get into this system if you're going to try and do custom builds and all that really pay attention to what you're putting into your soil because you're going to be using these pots for years and years and years. The soil I have is up to like seven or eight years old now. And I believe that's the reason why I have such intense flavors and aromas on my cannabis. Even when I grow the identical, these strains are grown by identical people, they just don't come out the same, really ever. Which is, which is kind of cool. I mean, I, I completely contribute that to the soil. But anyways, the main base that I like to recommend for your pots is Coco Loco. And then you cap that shit with rice hulls, of course. And then you'll do your re-amending with whatever your favorite re-amendment is. Probably whatever's popular locally. Generally an all-in-one that you'll want to use. That's just what I like to. I mean, you can do your own custom blends, but all-in-one's nice. And then once you start actually getting, say, two, three, maybe four runs in, then you start bringing in conditioners like basalt, gypsum, uh, lime, all stuff that'll help the, I like to call them conditioners, the, the life of your soil. It's really, really important. It's something I learned in the early years. I would have had to reset. Uh, my original pots, there were seven gallon tall boys, and I absolutely love those things. I don't know if you guys ever heard me rant on them, but the structure that they gave the plants was really, really cool. And you can put a lot of them inside of a 5x5, five five. but anyways, I ran into compaction issues with those pots and a few other ones because I wasn't using soil conditioners. So those are pretty important once you get a few runs down the road. But as far as run one, I will always, always recommend that you just get your Coco Loco, you cap that shit with rice hulls, and you just butt chug water for that first run. Most strains will finish off without any kind of issues. I've only seen, it's, it's very, it's like a handful of strains that are very, very heavy feeders that needed some kind of supplementation if you wanted them to uh, go all the way without completely cannibalizing. But even those strains that needed the extra food or whatever, they still finished phenomenal. They were just completely yellow in week six. But it was cool. So, that being said, once you get these pots built, try to do the least amount of disturbance as possible because we're building a, more than just a soil, you're building a ecosystem, a universe for these trillions of micros and microorganisms and fungi, there's all those good guys in there. There's, there's a whole universe that's going on in your pot, you have to remember that. And we're culturing that we want to keep that stable and we don't want fluctuations and all kinds of chaos so just remember that even even down in your wicking bed those are microbes good guys like our whole system here we're cultivating a universe of uh, microbes or midichlorians if you want to get all forcey But other than that, may the frugal force be with you.